Leaves from the Tree of Life. That's the title of our new CD for Rubicon Classics, featuring the music of Robert Kahn. It's performed by Ensemble Emigre, and the final work on the disc is Kahn's Quintet in C minor, Opus 54. We're all very excited to be presenting the world premiere recording of this neglected masterpiece. Published in Berlin in 1910, the work recalls Austro-German repertoire from the second half of the 19th century and also reflects Kahn's studies during the 1880s in Mannheim, Berlin and Munich. By the time he wrote the quintet, Kahn was in his mid-40s, enjoying a career as a pianist, teacher and composer based in Berlin. And he'd already written quite a range of chamber music. I'm thinking here of the sonatas and duos for string instruments and piano, piano trios, other trios which mix piano with wind and string instruments, as well as the string quartets and piano quartets. The Opus 54 quintet is not a conventional piano quintet, but a delicious combination of representative orchestral voices in its scoring for clarinet, horn, violin, cello and piano. The quintet's four movements are well-crafted and Kahn makes both idiomatic and judicious use of all five instruments. The work showcases Kahn's gift for melodic invention honed in the many leader he'd already written by this time. Kahn also displays an instinct for the potential of the ensemble and makes effective use of the different textures available within the quintet. The first movement is both majestic and tempestuous, highlighting rhythmic and melodic interplay. The second movement is underpinned by a scurrying scherzo-like character. In the third movement, Kahn treats us to some particularly poignant melodies for my instrument, the clarinet, as well as for the violin. And the last movement is vibrant and energetic, ending with a coda that leaves you on the edge of your seat. This premiere recording represents an important milestone in our research about emigre musicians who settled in Britain. We hope you enjoy the music. <laughs> 